But the sphere is rather inconsequential as it just leads to your doom. Fortunately, doom is prevented by invisible walls. Thank God for those. Oh God. Hey guys, name is Fan playing some motorcycle land. Let's go somewhere or other. Jack the graphics up just a little bit. So that's the smartest decision that I ever did make. So I just restored power. So, uh, let's go on the fairground ride. As you can see, not the most exciting motorcycle ride you'll ever take in your life, but yeah. So, this sphere is rather mysterious. I actually don't know what the deal, because it spins, and you'd think there'd be some bridges or something sort of up here that it would connect to, but there never is. You can look all around, and there's nothing that you can do. Oh, hey, yeah, that's some stuttering. I should probably jack the graphics back down. Meh. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's always a mystery and so forth. But now that the power's back on, I should be able to rock a turntable. Hmm, I was just thinking maybe I should go back there and not progress the plot. I was just thinking that sounded like it could be maybe some form of good idea. I was just thinking. Anyways, this, uh, this puzzly puzzle here with the bridge, uh, there's a bridge, but it's turned because you have to turn that thing so you can't walk up there. Also, there's this step ladder, great for debates, that you can't get down. I'm not even going to try because I already know for a fact that you can't get it down, so herp a derp. Anyway, let's go back and get reprimanded. For turning the power back on, or we could fish in the water. I mean, this is upstream of the pollution, so there's gonna be no problems, I would hope. Okay, so I've introduced the game already and talked about how beautiful it is, so now I get to commence ruining it with jump cuts, okay? Okay, oh, a path is a path. At least to a bridge. Nowhere else I thought it would lead, but uh, hey, before I go in here, though, Actually, I should probably just mosey on over this direction and uh, look at something I missed. Okay, sounds fantastic. Listen to the sounds of those feet. The times may not be ancient, but that doesn't mean that one cannot celebrate with many, many, many feet in many, many, many mouths. I know my mouth is many feet long. That's why they call me Finn, the Finn Babbler. Yes, there's his little letter here, because we're reading other people's mail. To Caroline, or whoever else might come back, it has been five days, and not a soul has returned. I'm inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet, surprisingly, I'm still alive, and that both supremely perplexes me and gives me some portion of hope. I've retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options. Well, I hear the market is good for options nowadays. I don't hear that, but I'm just, you know, making it up. Still with the stuttering. Wow, must be the heat. I just don't know, man. My system can encode at full bore with no glitches, but somehow when it tries to play a game, it's like... Oh, it's pretty distracting. But, well, hey, that's as maybe. Let's, let's go croak with the best of them. Over this away. Oh, freaking yeah. Also, somehow I'm not getting sent to hell by this beam, just turned into a grape, which some might argue is pretty much as bad, but, uh. Mm, nah.
Yeah, just trying to see how he looks from the side, but it's not in the cards, baby. I guess that's my new catch phrase. Ooh. Also, some music to go along with your red beam and your grape hood. Awesome, nice, let's tune in and drop out and succeed in life, okay? Here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, now we're in the rusty building where all the train tracks are blocked off quite annoyingly. Uh, I'm sure that this is going to move at some point and stalkers will come on and go like, Hey, Finn. I want to go to lunch and I'll be like sure and then I'll be like hey 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 the world sucks hey 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 and I'll be like I don't want to go to lunch with you anymore mayor's imager requests so he he got them all put by the nice friendly things but he didn't get them put by the really spooky things such as the power generator and the junkyard garage scrap dump place because you know <laughs> you gotta look out for your image when welcoming tourists. So here is some sort of machine that he's written a bunch of techno babble here. Uh, looks like messing with nature. I'm sure that'll get you some kind of battle. Probably. I don't know. Seems plausible. And then here's a whole bunch of other techno babble. Honestly, I could read this, but uh, then I would look like a guy who says techno babble, and I wouldn't want that. Not when it ought to be on my face. I think this is probably a clue to something, but uh, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist. Also, I suppose I should explain the feature of this game. You might notice there's this photos area. And you're thinking, well, photos, I mean, I don't know, some games have got a camera that you just take pictures as like a silly, pointless side thing, so I didn't think nothing of it. But, actually, and this doesn't work fully in this version because it's not updated, but you can take pictures. You might be thinking, why would you want to do that? Well, if you happen to see something that's a clue, you can take a picture of it so that you can essentially carry it with you. And it's really cool, except that half the time it doesn't work and is really buggy in this initial release, but, uh... Whatever. They put out a public beta update, but it's not the full one, so I'm gonna just wait till they give it the go, and only then will I beat my head against it in sheer pleasure. Okay, so more capacitor battery stuff. Uh, so, uh, apparently, um, people, I guess, come from different time periods, so there's like time travel involved or something. I don't know. But, uh,. I don't even know what this does. I sort of turned it on or something, but it didn't seem to change much, so... Fah. Maybe it, uh, maybe it generates power for here. That's... That's possible. I haven't really been paying attention, to be perfectly honest. Whoop. All right, now move around just a bit. This is awkward. Why are you so nervous? This is just pain. Okay, okay. Now what? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, well, as fun as gifts, horses, and mouths are, please change Farley's lock code to secure the vault. Her address backwards should suffice. Regards, Mayor person. Okay, so, right, so the vault is her address backwards. I didn't want to do it until I've read it. Imager rocks. Pretty, uh, pretty cool tech there. Also, that's some kind of modern camera. I don't know, you'd think that the modern people here would have, like, transferred all the tech to solar power, but I guess, no! So it's a Mofang disabler device is what we want here. So reassembly is non-trivial. Does that mean that we're still going to get to do it at some point? Or freaking what? So what you can do, if you want, is disable these little rocket generators and or anything else. It's amazing. Where's my turny turn thing? Do I have a turn? Oh, there we go. 
destroys that, and it could even destroy this test where poor Caroline Farley was uh, demonstrating her very, 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 very lack of being a natural at things as a complete sign of disrespect. She is now destroyed and gone. Boo hoo hoo ha and other such freaking words. Okay, so this, I guess, is the one you use to test it out, and this, or no, this. Oh, right. This is the one you really use because check this crap out, man. Okay, well, I guess we're done checking it out now, so stop checking it out, please. I suppose I can go over here and just show you guys what's over here. Lots of lack of anti-aliasing over here. That's pretty amazingly fun. But that is unfortunately not the most fun thing. The most fun thing is that this guy is way too scared to walk on these rails. I don't know what his problem is. He's in a video game, man. Nothing's gonna happen to you. He's following the LucasArts golden rule, I'm sure. And now we're really sucking the energy out of the tree. But, hey, whatever. It's a video game, you gotta progress towards your goal. There's no mercy shown for trees. We eat trees for lunch. Put their leaves in our hair and dance around at the ball singing I'm so pretty and extremely sharp-witted. <laughs> That's what we do to the likes of you, son, in this ye old ancient world where we burn oil that's even more limited than it is in real life. Oh, okay, but seriously. Now this industrial hell is all lit up and I can actually get inside this car thing. And you have this weird pixely screen and you can shoot this beam around everywhere. Oh, it's just amazing, you guys, for real. And you can flip it off and, and flip it off. Or you can not flip it off and merely just go, because seriously here. <laughs> and, and there's these switches on the tracks, which you can use to switch the tracks. And let me tell you, when it comes to dropping the base on the tracks, this card is like frickin' second to none. You can barely see anything because this big head and canvas stuffed all up in your face, but that's all right by me. There is some kind of uh, imager rocks over here, though. Did I read everything up there, or did I just skip it? I don't know, but there's supposed to be some text telling you about the imager rocks, der her. Oh yeah, over here. Talks about how you can project rocks if they're still without a refresh rate. This all sounds pretty convincing, actually. It's quite the impressive techno speak. They even use terms such as immutable, which have to do with functional programming and other things. Oh, hey. So if I wanted, I could destroy all of these devices. I'm not sure. This doesn't seem like the kind of game to have achievements, which is nice. I haven't come across any yet, but, you know, who knows? Oh, yeah, that's right, I have to be out because, you see, the great super late game in Creta Puzzle here is that you've got to switch these tracks, but don't be fooled, the puzzles get pretty devious, and the tracks even switch sometimes. Yeah, they, they move over. You know, I've always wondered, how the heck do tracks switch in real life? Well, this must be how. I actually learned something presumably real from this here video game. Yeah, I mean, this this seems to be some sort of battery-powered electrical thing, so... I don't know what's with that oil. I mean, it's just all so mysterious. Maybe it's not oil. Maybe it's... Maybe it's, you know, apple juice. Perhaps they've figured out a way to burn apple juice. It burns clean and... hurts no one, and... all you gotta do is murder a bunch of apple trees and then squish a bunch of its children, and... everything's gonna be... just... fine. Oh yes, that's right, and I also have to go grab the address and put the code into the vault, uh, quote unquote. But, uh, you know, hey, first we gotta eat our ice cream, then we can eat our peas. Am I right or what? Aw, oh, yeah. And you can even turn directly around, because this pod kind of turns with you, so it's explainable. However... Oh, damn it, I, I did something wrong, didn't I? Wait a minute. How do you how do you blow up these rocks? Do you have to do it from the other side? Probably, I guess. I'm, I'm not even remembering. But here comes the part of the game where I'm like, <laughs> Your favorite part. Yes, you. You, yes, you. It's your favorite 
part, so... Ooh, we don't know. I want to go back here, do I? Yeah. The puzzle here is that you can't actually get out the door, by the way, because there's all this stuff on the left blocking you, so you have to walk all the way back here. And Oh, and it's already turned the right direction. Wow. I guess it wasn't meant to be a puzzle at all, then. It's the kind of puzzle that you force on yourself by flipping that switch first. In case you're a super hardcore expert pro, like myself. These rocks, unfortunately, are real, though, so, uh... And other noises you can... Imitate by using letters such as T, C, and H, and so forth. So, can I, uh... Oh, hang on, how do I do this here? Uh... Okay. I can't quite reach him, I don't think. Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so blow up the rocks. Not a problem. And while I'm blowing up rocks, you may recall that there was some up here. I might as well preemptively do that. Also, this is not a very good advertisement for electric vehicles as it loses the heck power when going up a very mild hill. Also, I closed that door because... Oh my god, Finn. Obviously too used to playing thief here, but I don't gotta cover my tracks. This, uh, this isn't thief, okay? Not thief. Understand the lesson? Excellent. So let me try to aim here. I don't know if I'm... I think I may have got it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look at the screen, which is all zoomed, but pixely, so I don't know why I would ever want to look at pixely stuff. Herp -derp. I didn't know. I didn't manage to hit them quite. Oh, man. This is actually trickier than it looks. Okay. Not quite yet. Really? Oh, no. I did. I did. Okay. At some point, I managed to blow them up. Wow. Unfortunately, as <laughs> we will soon discover, our, uh, our misgivings were to be unrequited because, well, it's just this sigh. But that's as maybe. Now that I know that's there, let me just uh, go back and do the thing I'm really supposed to do. Which is to say, blow up a machine. What, did you think I was going to get a code? <laughs> Are you insane? When did I ever say anything about that? I mean, I know I said something about functional programming, but seriously, it's programming, not code. Very different. Use an adult-sounding term for your adult-sounding concepts. No slang allowed. If you wish to program a computing device, program a computing device. But if you code the box and... Well, <laughs> you get kicked right out of elementary class, son. Okay, so the address is 1436. So that's backwards. 6341. This stuff looks so real. I don't know, especially that looks so real. So 6341. Yeah. And I think I'll... I think I need to take this back, too. Oh, come on. You don't have spaghetti long arms like Garrett and you can't reach and slide the thing. Ah. Oh. This guy's a wimp! Also, he could be a woman, too, if you went with the female shadow thing. Shadow determines gender, you know? Sometimes you think you're one thing and... Oh, yeah, that's right. You look at your shadow and you see these comically large hair follicles and you're like, Damn! I'm actually a girl. And it just comes such a shock that you go back into your groundhog hole and never come out again. And... Let me tell you, the environmental devastation resulting from that is unspeakable, bro. So, uh, don't do drugs, and you won't come up with such a concept, I'm sure. Wow. So, I have to blow up that thing, so I guess I gotta go... ...back over this way. Once again, I don't really remember. It seems like you could go through this tunnel, but there's this impenetrable rock over there. I guess I should check out the rest of the town, but it's kind of boarded up. I don't think power is going to help with that, but hey, power helps with everything. It gives you everything except for friendship and love and joy, possibly. Well, power might give you joy, but it won't give you friendship and love and... Whoa. 
You don't want that. Oh, man. What am I even... Why would I want to go here? Why would I want to go here? Let me tell you, this is the biggest dead-end job you'll ever see. If, if, if it were up to me, I wouldn't step foot in that chicken coop. Yeah, it's just like, lol. I bet... It almost looks like you could break that down so you could swap track direction at some point, maybe, but I could just be doing my math wrong. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, come on, man. This thing controls really well, actually. Like, I first got in here and it looked real complex. But you can just use the keys and switch modes and use the keys again. It's pretty great design. For real. I just like how... This thing's got like a big electric th watermelon box on the back. It's and some real futuristic stuff there. Okay, so if I can get myself in position here, which rather taking a long time, I don't know. Perhaps this is tedious to watch, but it's it's pretty fun to play. You get to watch the same animation over and over and over again. You know, very satisfying to the taste buds because everything looks so good. Even with the uh, GTX 670 tax, <laughs> by which I mean it's not as fast as another fast, fast. Okay, let's see if I can't. Oh boy. Yeah, they always make you aim to the side, because why not? Poop. And there we go. <laughs> Get me out of here! I want to go further into the apocalypse and not stay in the Carmageddon. But it's not the apocalypse, sadly. You, you just kind of... You just kind of get free. And if I want, I can go talk to this guy again and maybe he'll get annoyed at me. Sweet. So, if you go back here, just in case you want to go back here, because the water's, like, amazingly freaking beautiful, you can't, even when the power's back on. You can't, because it's stuck. It's too bad. But there's that cyan moment still. I mean, it just looks like you could reach out and touch this. VR would be amazing, except that you puke. Well, you don't puke, but you, f you spend, like, three days feeling like you're going to. It's... Uh, <laughs> except sometimes you don't. I'm sure it's improved, and I shouldn't be dismarketing such a thing at all, so I won't. However, now I really got to go do the thing. So it's 6341, I believe, is what it is. So, uh, yeah, the vault, by the way, is over here because you may have remembered there was a keypad in the dark. And as fun as the game keypad in the dark is, the real thing that you want to do is to punch numbers into it so that you can bust into a vault. Or it's not really a vault and he probably didn't call it a vault I think he said he's protected in his own vault and he called this something else but like I don't know I'm gonna call it the vault cuz as you'll see it's completely the opposite in every way possible this place is just creepy I'm serious this is like the best kind of subtle horror cuz it's like it's it's just like so bright and sunny and everything's cheerful but it's just got this old dirty nasty horrible tech that Toxifies everything and is ugly. Man, I don't know. I mean, you guys know, but I'm just trying to describe it pointlessly because that's what I do. But I don't know. I mean, it just seems real subtle to me, but I like it. So here we go. Oops. <laughs> okay, six, three, four. There go. Now we're in the vault. Or, or, or. Or, as I like to call it, the dang old liberal bar. Or, it's it's actually the house because you unlock the door and you open the door and here we are. Oh heck yeah! I don't think you can destroy this thing though because your cart's always pointed the wrong way. It's kind of interesting, but yes, this is Farley's community center house thing, and there's another back a reward. Oh, it's still showing it. It doesn't really save the settings. It's kind of... ...sildiculous. 
But never mind, there's a tape recorder, and I won't be listening to that quite yet, because here's some Rose Cottage drawings, much more entertaining. There's some backstory you can look at if you like. It, uh, it seems to explain a lot of things pretty quickly, but there's plenty of mystery left. Then there's this. <laughs> That's a packet reward item. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Or mean. Because don't tell people to be quiet if they sing, honestly. You want them to become good singers? Well, at least they want to become good singers, so... So, uh... Yeah. Something of the end to the end. Soulmates to the end. Ah. Okay, well, this is also, however, the reading place. And I actually didn't know about this. So what is this? I, I have no idea, actually. It's like 15, but sort of turned. I, well, okay, I, that, that's different. Well, I didn't expect to reach this part of the game where I'm like, What's going on yet? Hmm. Well, you can do that, or you can do this, and if you put the circle over here, then it kind of points you out an area, which appears to kind of be sort of right where the power generation was, so I guess that's the power generation place. I don't, I don't know, I've already been there. I guess... No. It's sort of at the power, it's... It's up there. I don't know what that is, but I guess, you know, later on, I might, I might discover it. Now, this is also the reading place, so if you're into reading, you can read, but instead, I'm just gonna leave it here and stay illiterate for life. So see you guys next time! Ah, and bye for now.